Nowadays, there are thousands of tokens available on over the blockchain platform, and most of them are created on the Ethereum network. Those tokens are created to serve various purposes of use. First, being a means of transaction with a payment token. Second, used for utilities, service access permission, products of a dApp on blockchain. Third, towards security tokens provide benefits for the shareholders of the company that they invested in and the benefits they receive. Fourth, towards the non-fungible tokens provide technical ownership rights for each content of RPs, images, music, or digital assets in-game. However, most tokens these days are created through smart contracts and it is equivalent to depending on human factors when coding. We can flash back to the last month of the year 2022. The fact that Binance Coin PNP lost several tokens to another suspicious wallet is widely debated by the blockchain community. One blockchain which links to Binance is attacked by hackers, making it lose more than $570 million. If you were a user in the PNP chain, then what would you feel receiving this news at the moment? What would happen if there were any errors while programming tokens? This will cause the user's assets easily exploited by hackers or even lose hundreds of millions of dollars of assets. And this is considered a huge disadvantage of the major tokens created through smart contracts on the blockchain in the markets nowadays. Welcome to Whiteboard Cardano. Instead of watching drawn-out clips of Charles Hoskinson, hereby even your grandma can understand the Cardano blockchain knowledge easily with images, examples, and illustration in only a few minutes. One topic per week. Today, in the company of our friend V. Coincheck, let's discover the topic today. Our topic today is how Cardano established a framework on blockchain. Cardano goals are First, security guarantee, minimizing errors caused by human factors. Second, easy to manage, follow the token on the chain. Third, convenient in mint and burn tokens. First up, let's start with tokens on the Ethereum blockchain. Criteria of tokens developed on Ethereum must be followed when created. First, once create tokens, we have to construct smart contracts and program them following the ERC-20 standards, Ethereum request for command. Second, next, to create a non-fungible token, we need to program following another framework standard, which is ERC-721. Here, we see clearly the needs for different standards to support various different purposes in creating a token. This is precisely why it leads to complexity and the possibility of manual error while implementing. Towards Cardano blockchain is different. The platform has outstanding functions in on-chain token creation. On tokens are designed following common standards. While Ethereum designs, manages, and executes tokens through smart contracts, for Cardano, it will be designed according to a common standard, management, and execution logic relies on the EUTXO ledger logic. For that reason, it created advantages for tokens, which have properties and technical features nearly similar to ADA, the main coin of the Cardano network. These desired features of tokens are commonly referred to as native tokens. Native token inheriting the advantages and technical features of ADA when first, it can be sent in transactions, second, can be stored in the form of unspent output UTXO, third, can be locked with a scripted output used for various different spending unlock cases. Common standards of Cardano native tokens include such parts. First, Asset. An object represents the value on the blockchain. These objects are diverse and different. Digital assets, ADA. Verified information, the quantity of goods. Examples. Assets equal to Mona Lisa painting. Asset equal 10 kg gold. Second, asset ID is a unique identifier for a collection of fungible tokens. It is determined by a policy ID and asset name pair. We can view the asset ID as a fingerprint. Assets with the same fingerprint can be fungible with each other or vice versa. Third, policy ID, an only identifier called associated with a minting policy. It is displayed as a hash string consisting of letters and numbers. Example, Mona Lisa policy ID here. Four, asset name. An immutable property of the asset used to distinguish different assets within the same policy. 
If the policy ID is a hash string, the asset name can be common words. For example, asset name equal to Mona Lisa. Let's take a look at two concert tickets for Alice, Bob, and how they are created. The New Year concert policy ID and the Night concert policy ID money minting policies. Although both tickets have the same name concert ticket, they have different policy IDs, which show that they cannot be fungible with each other because their identification codes are different. Therefore, Alice's concert ticket cannot be given to Bob and vice versa. The initial design choices have created advantages for Cardano native tokens over tokens on other blockchain platform. Here, specifically compared to tokens on ETH. First, it demonstrates the lightweight for each token created. We can imagine putting Cardano and Ethereum tokens on a scale. The scale will lean heavily towards Ethereum because the tokens are created through smart contracts which adds an additional layer of execution for transfer. For Cardano tokens, each token is identified by an asset ID consisting of hash function that references the minting policy. In a minting policy, only the minting or burning process is checked. This is not stored on a ledger, leading to fast processing by nodes. Second, it brings a low execution fee. As a Cardano token is native, users do not need to pay any fees to transfer tokens. In contrast to Ethereum, every transaction involving a token requires a smart contract to be executed, which incurs an execution fee. In many cases, users have to pay a significant gas fee due to the gas fee mechanism on the network. Third, it provides safety for Cardano's native tokens as they are managed by the ledger mechanism and have the same level of security as ADA. Additionally, the minting and burning of tokens are governed by a predetermined minting policy and cannot be modified. This means that the token minting and burning policy cannot be changed by the issuer. With a special ledger structure, compact design, simple mint and burn method, and secure storage of information, Cardano's native tokens have many advantages over tokens in older blockchain system. In the future, Cardano promises to bring designs for native token-based fee payments, Babel fees. All of the issues mentioned above will provide flexibility, simplicity, ease of use, and versatility for Cardano's native token. What do you think about these advantages? If you are interested, Please like and subscribe, then hit the notification bell to receive the latest video. Please leave your comments and questions under the video. We will try to explain and answer them in the easiest way possible. Thank you and see you soon.